In this video, I'll show you how I created my character from freely available elements in Canva. I made this video very slow suitable for beginners. Oh. Let's do it. You can find all these elements here. So let's start with the body. You can find the body in the elements and shapes. We'll start with the body outline. We simply place it in the middle. Then we'll place the body fill on the outline. Here in the Layers tab, you can see how the outline is in a layer below the fill. Here you can see what happens when you change the position of the figure in the layers. You move the image in the layer settings by holding down the left mouse button and dragging it to the desired position. Okay, let's go to the hands, and in the Layer tab, Place the hands between the outline and the body fill. Same for both legs. Place the hair in the layers in front of both bodies. Okay, now it's the face's turn mine is made up of several pieces. The first piece serves as the mouth, then the eyebrows, the one that belongs in the layers first. Then it's the eyes. Then the eyelids. Lastly, the sword. I modified the hilt with a magic eraser. Here you can see that the eyebrows are created from the image of the eyes. Only the image is simply cropped and the color is changed. Okay, now a side view of the character. This part will be a bit quicker now that you know what to expect from the first part. We'll start with the body again. The placement in the layer is very similar to the front view. Now it's the legs and arms. While I'm trying to place the limbs, please like, subscribe and comment if you like. It will help me a lot. I also welcome suggestions for the video. I would like to thank Peony School. Thanks to his comment, I created this tutorial. I hope he likes it. In the future, I'll try to focus only on the animation in Canva. So whoever is interested, please bear with me. I don't think many people do pure cartoon animation in Canva. I have seen a few videos and they were more on how to make quick money with Canva, etc. I would like to focus more on creating characters and have some fun with that. As you can see this time I placed one hand behind both bodies and the other one in front of both. I think it looks better. Okay, limbs are done, let's continue. We will use the same hair without modification. I purposely use these because they can be used from all angles. I would recommend making the longer hair out of more elements. Okay, now the eyes, which are again made up of multiple pieces. Don't be afraid to use multiple elements. Just play around with the layers and it looks great. Damn. It's a bit of a pain, but it's worth it. The mouth, as you can see, is just a cropped gift. Eyebrows. Now that the time isn't set. So it's not perfect and you can see the mouth closed even when you're talking. Just set the timing and one of the mouths disappears. And now it's just the sword. As you can see the sword is made up of several pieces. Here you can see the final placement of each image in the layer.
Here you can see that the character is pieced together from smaller pieces that it's just cropped original images. No need to draw new ones. Try to trim the pieces according to their placement in the layers. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this sword gave me a hard time to make it look somehow while making it as simple as possible. I only explained the left and front side of the character in this tutorial, because I think that's enough for you to make the other two sides. The video would be unnecessarily long and people would skip it. I covered creating a walking animation in the simple character animation Canva tutorial video.